I know, no, we got sub level five. It's fine. It's not over yet. I was wondering. I'm like, I, I, I mean, it kind of felt like the ending, but at the same time, not. So let's keep it up. All right. I mean, it's taken me about like just over an hour to get through this. So you know, it's uh, you can't really complain. It's not a long game. Then again, I'm methodically and slowly going through most of this shit. Gus Cannon is nice, actually. What was the thing that was trash? I think it was the Ion Cannon, and only because of the fucking screen shake now. Because I, I have literally made the two things that are made from railguns, so... Now we're on the last level. Yeah, because this thing's really good, I actually remember. Because I remember it was really good. Um, it was the Ion Cannon that was trash. And then I, I, I said it wasn't bad, just because I'm like, I, I don't know, I think it's been changed. But this thing doesn't have that charge up, so it's actually really nice, too. But literally, there's nothing else that's constructed from rail guns, so... I, I should be more conservative with this ammo, because it doesn't actually regenerate. For the, for the bullets. Although I could have gotten that, I think, at some point. Um, I chose not to, though, so... Fuck me. Alright, let's see what's over here. My least favorite guys are... Okay, also, um, I need to do this, because it... resets the screen shake option, because it starts shaking the screen. Even though it says off... It's honestly, it is a screen shake that makes that weapon horrible. Actually, I can 100% guarantee you, because it instantly became 10 times better. And I had it to low. It was low screen shake, too. So I, I'm pretty sure it's just bugged and ignores that setting. So I'm basically using the Goss Cannon for what I need. Instant uh, results. Okay. It's a really powerful weapon, dude. Like... I don't know. I, I think it was because I got an upgrade that increased bullet damage too, because I was using the railguns anyway, so maybe that may also have something to do with it though. Um, but it's, it's actually pretty good. The other problem with the iron cannon is I can't see what the fuck I'm doing half the time, because it's so bright. Oh nice, look at these purple projectiles. Love them. Oh, he just blew himself up. Everybody thank him. It's very kind of him. Alright, uh, we need to go back this way. I think we do. Oh yeah, we haven't explored here yet, so let's do it. I said regardless of the outcome, I will do these videos. Kaya Curl. And that, that guy's trying to drop mines. That son of a bitch. Alright. Uh, another Kaya Cluster. That's the Dumbfire one. But I think we want to go for Ma Mag Cluster. Just because it is the best seeming one. I, I mean, things that are tier 3 are not necessarily deserving of that. I'll be honest with you. Uh, inventory full. Oh, fuck. Where did I get 25 HP from? Fuck. I have, like, no HP. I have, like, the slight bit of regen, though, which is nice. So here's to hoping that we continue to get some nice drops from... I gotta be careful, because, like, everything hurts on this fucking game right now. But I mean, I'm like, where did my health go? Fuck. Like, this is what I mean. It's like, it comes around the corner. Look at these things! They, they, they fucking... They know how to evade the walls. Some bullshit. And the game, want, like, is literally has the balls to think I'm gonna go pick up these pickups when there's these things around. And like, and also the the pickups are purple. What kind of bullshit is that? It's like, 
Uh, oh yeah, look, a turret that fires a purple projectile is great. Oh look, it's a fucking ton of them doing this. Good times. All right, now we got a riot pulsar. Uh, we're we're completely. You know what? We're done with that shit. By the way, just dropping all of it because that can't be combined into anything else. I wish it would. I honestly wish the UI would kind of tell me when something was homing in, though. Alright, I think there's enough in there that I'm, I want to fire a missile in there. But I think they're coming around the corner for me slowly anyway, so I don't think it matters. Uh, maybe I do. I, I do like the weapon switching, though. It's actually quite nice. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. I can guarantee you some of those are homing. How good is the homing, though, is the question. Alright, not that good. It's not, it's not no purple bullet bullshit. I got two of them, and we have the last one. Alright, we got the last one. Another repair kit. Another repair kit. Yeah, you know, I sometimes wish that I could break down some of these weapons into more repair kits. Somehow, I mean... Or nanites, either one. This iron cat didn't actually aim bad. I take it all back. Simply because I was able to turn off fucking the screen shake. Honestly, if... Uh, the dev needs to remove the screen shake, I think. With that weapon. I mean, I know I can turn it off myself, but... And by turning it off, I mean having to go into, through the menu and toggling it every time. And I should also mention that the Linux support for this game is not very good. I tried to play it on Linux. Screen resolution was not a thing. I mean, I wish it would, like, default to borderless window there, but it really didn't. I mean, it works flaws under Windows, and if you have a Mac, fuck you, I don't care. This is a fucking shield, guys. Fuck! Kinda difficult to tell what the hell is going on half the time. I mean, it's a, it's a, literally a large purple projectile going towards my face, you know? Covering up half the screen. It kind of is difficult to tell how far it even is. This guy's still not dead. Alright, now he's dead. Okay. I mean, it's also kind of a problem when things also look like blocks a lot. It's like Minecraft here. Shit. You know, as I said, the graphics not terrible, but... I mean, the style isn't anything noteworthy, you know? I fucking hate these shield guys. Fuck, he just turned up his shield again. I have a lot of missiles now, actually. I think that uh, now it's not an issue now. Also, I think he, I think this asshole's spawning stuff. I'm still okay with music. It's good. Not bad, but it's good. I like the little, th the little jingle to it, like... I'm not gonna actually sing it, but you know. It's good. You should do whatever. I mean. Okay, I'm just gonna fire a missile in there, cause fuck this, fuck this place. Thank God I'm the railgun ship. I'm able to do this. I mean, it's also, in my opinion, the kind of game where you want to methodically go through these sections, cause like you know. It's it, like if you if you haven't noticed, like when I have to essentially evade things, I can't exactly see where I'm going. It's it's difficult to navigate around. You know what I mean? Um, and so it the game kind of with the amount of drops for health it gives you. I mean, if you're not ramming, it gives you more health. But whatever. I mean, as I said, it just 
doesn't give you enough. And it, it just, the game is biased towards the, essentially the accuracy weapons. Cause like, you see this room, why would I go in there? Cause you don't know what's in there. Cause sometimes I even go into these rooms and then I'm still surprised. It's like mines and shit. Like you have you have things that can plant mines. That's like that's such a douchey thing to do. Am I taking damage or something? Oh yeah, this thing. So this is what I mean about the variety in this game kind of feels very limited. I mean there's different kinds of like you know rail guns and snipers and shotguns and stuff but like like the thing is when you get past a certain tier you know that beam rail gun I had nothing like it in tier 3 this doesn't exist so essentially I only use it for like a small portion of the game I don't know it's like it's like how much more can you really make well beats me I think we're nearing the end here. I know, I didn't check to see how close I was to making that out of the ship. Oh, still one alive. I blew up. Alright, we got a bit of a thing here. Uh, we can make, uh, well, I may have dropped the thing that would have enabled me to make the other guy. I don't know what it was, because I don't actually have the option for that big ass muscle anymore. That sucks. For you, that is, because you won't get to see me make it. I, I, if I recall, it wasn't anything special. Then again, I've been wrong before. Yeah, dude, this is like level 5. I'm not fucking going in here. Thank god he just had the red bullets. Well, at least we got a ton of these things. Oh wow, we have 8 repair <laughs> modules. Holy shit. Alright, there's a flamethrower. A oh, here we go. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's check out this one real quick. See this guy? Shotgun. A little bit late for me to make be making anything with that, but you know, just want to show you what that was. All right, we do not have a red key card. I think this is the first time I've ever traveled through these levels, and I didn't actually find a key card. Now, fortunately, the le the level thing here, uh, it will actually tell you where the key cards are if you had passed by them and not noticed them. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, uh, it's probably over in this room here that I went down the wrong junction, and now we have to go all the way back, guys. You ready, guys? Say it with me. Procedural level generation. I mean, it isn't a bad thing, but, you know, because you now have a game with essentially unlimited replayability, in theory. Because uh, you'll never get the same level twice. Uh, the problem is, uh, it's, you know, the areas you go into aren't particularly special. It literally looks like a cookie cutter thing, you know. And uh, What else is there really to say about it? Honestly, if... I think it's better with than without. Um, it just has like a couple of flaws with regarding the, the variety of drops that need to be uh, given. Keep going. That is the main thing. All right. I, I want to pick that up. I might. Oh, the reason I'm so full is because if I have like all these fucking other guys, I forgot about that. Oh, no way, I did have it here. Okay, I'm retarded. I was looking in this corner. Wow. Can't believe I did that. Yeah, let's, put, let's make the mag cluster. Alright, we got a mag cluster now. Make a chaotic curl, too. Oh, actually, no. That's not something we can make. Rapid cluster? It's a dump fire with multiple sub missiles. Might as well. Why the fuck not? Okay, and that's it. I could, literally can't make any. I could make a better engine. But it's not really better, so fuck it. Alright, so now we have a mag cluster missile and then just cluster. I only have 11 shots with one of them though, so... I, we'll save it for the boss, because we're, we're getting that stage, you know? Sorry, I, I completely misread the UI. That was, that was on me. I had a lot of shit, and so I was kind of like, whatever. 
All right, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. Oh ho ho! That one's kind of cool. Now the main cluster one is completely different. We'll wait on that guy a little bit. All right, we got the red key, so we technically don't really need to go anywhere else. But you know, let's let's go anyways. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure, guys. Just go on an adventure with me. Well, too fucking bad. You have no choice. I think we're literally going in a circle. Oh no, we're not. I <laughs> I thought I was gonna actually end up in the same room, and to my surprise, there was a big blowy up guy there. Not something you want to see every day. Oh my god. This thing is gonna single-handedly end this run. I swear to god. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah, he took out, like, almost all my health. You know what the final boss used to be? Just like a cluster of those turrets in one room. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It almost hit me. Fuck. Get the fuck away from me. Oh my god. This still got to me. Okay, let me use the, this thing to fucking kill it as fast as humanly possible. Alright, now we need to run back here. Okay, I think it's done. Because it just doesn't go into the walls. It doesn't want to. Let's, let's continue with the cluster missile. Look, look, look. It's just, this thing is like the best projectile. The like fucking... I don't know. Where are we now? We are in a place we've already been. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so this is how that thing went. It just went into a loop and then back to the same place, so. Oh, look, it's one of these things. Again. Things are, like, literally... The only thing I have trouble with. Alright. So, we need to go back. I think, I think it's straight. Well, we have four repair thingamabobs, so let's get to full health, because I think we're basically doing the final boss encounter. Pretty sure about that, to be honest. And I probably should say some other things about the game. Like, it, it does handle really well. As if you haven't noticed, I haven't really had that many issues with controlling it. I mean, it, it pretty much handles like Descent does, with like, you know... Essentially, every time I start up Descent, I have to rebind all the controls. This is like, basically bound really well by default, so... I mean, really, nothing to complain about in that regard. I like. I just do this before I run out of hard drive space because I think I'm saving this all to my SSD. Which is, we now have a new problem. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot. I'm not going to go check that now. Fuck it. I really should, actually. But you know, at this point, if, if the recording just stopped and something like. Like, I, don't, I think it would be basically like there's nothing I could do. It'd be like, oh, it's the fucking whole runs of scrap. Oh look, the fucking the only thing that gets through is the purple projectiles. Who would have fucking thought in a million fucking years? Alright. I mean it is the last boss encounter, so. Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's just let these things shoot me, come closer. Oh, it's actually just one of these things. Fuck it. I'm gonna just fire them like this. Piece of shit. Okay. Can I hit them? They can certainly hit me. There we go. Let's have a good look at this place before we continue. Okay. Why can't I? Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna cluster missile your ass. Oh, good. I didn't even hit. Okay, I did hit him actually. So, the core is inside the panels here. Let me see if I can hit him like kind of like this. So you have to basically like hit these panels open. So let me see if I can cheese it just a little bit. Yeah, it's really insistent I don't cheese it. I don't know. Let's do this. Alright, let's try let's try the new mag cluster missile, shall we? Alright, go. I have no idea what it did.
More mag cluster. Okay, it looks like it blows everything the fuck up. I mean, it's a missile, so I kind of expected that. Do these things die? Maybe I can destroy them before I actually go in there. By the way, if these things are infinitely spawning, then... Yeah, I might as well just go in. Alright. Okay, it looks like I have to destroy these. Or not. I can't actually tell if I'm hitting the inside. Okay, no, I have to destroy these. Okay, that's one. It's two. Alright, that's a lot of lasers. That's a lot of lasers. That's a lot of missiles. Dude, you guys like Bloom? Holy shit. I mean, he doesn't even look that close right now. Oh shit, I think I hit myself. Alright, I think I just splashed down with myself. Oh shit. We win, I think. Yeah, we did. Holy fuck. Dude, I, I made that so much more challenging for myself by fucking hitting my own fucking ship. Alright, there we go. Oh, accuracy 11%, just like it should be. Holy fuck. And we're loading into the level 6. Nope. Well. Yeah, so the ship. I think this is basically essentially the. Yeah, this, this guy is like referencing Descent, if you actually read through it. It's the same sort of ending as Descent. Remember. Because you warp away and. Yeah. It's. Yeah, that's pretty good. Calculate your position, and it's been recharged. You start your journey home. And that's the end. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you, Luke Thompson and Gary Lloyd. You've made a fabulous game. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. I would recommend it, um, assuming they continue to update it. If it just, you know, falls dead, then I don't know. It's still worth picking up if, you, if you're really into Descent. If you're not really a Descent fan, uh, still worth picking up. I don't know. If you liked what you saw, this is literally it. This is, these are the credits, actually. Oh no, I have to press F. Oh, there you go. Here's your procedural programmer. Pi. I don't know how to say his name, though. And that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the game. Pretty good shit, though. I mean, as I said, the, the best things I can complain about is procedural generation, not top notch exactly, and like it, it has flaws. It just, you know, things spawn a little bit too close. It doesn't have any checks for things like that, I guess. Um, I mean, the graphics aren't exactly great, because, I mean, they're, they're fine, but there's times where I just see, like, a big ass purple block coming towards me, and it's like, eh. That's still fun to go through once in a while. You know? I, I still started off, I still had fun with this run, you know. I can't really say much about that. And, uh, you know, everything else is solid. The weapons are solid. Uh, the map is solid. I mean, well, the weapon needs more. The weapons need more variety, in my opinion, because uh, they just go. You go to tier three, and so you're basically done. Like essentially, what you saw there with the mini gun and that iron cannon. That's all I could do with the the rail gun. Everything else is like always some, some other kind of weapon. And I mean, there's like a fusion one and some other stuff. I don't know. I don't remember, but they're not exactly up my alley. So it's basically you get to that one weapon, and you're basically done. So. Apparently the credits are really short, so they decided to add in people's text to kind of pad it out, but whatever. I mean, it was one run, it was one run through the game, and it was about an hour and 40 minutes, and I'm sure if you were speedrunning it, it'd be basically an hour. And as I said, it's replayable, because it's everything, every run is different, so... You know. Can't, can't, really, make, can't really complain about that. I mean, this game wasn't... As far as you know, kickstarted or anything, it was just like a couple of guys came together, were Descent fans, and I mean, good idea. Execution was, I would say, good, so, you know, pretty good game overall. And I think we are done. And I also unlocked the Hulk.
I just want to see that one quickly, so... I'm not going to actually do another run. So, old but reliable class. So, every ship starts with something different. This, this standard gunship is just lasers and auto cannon. Let's see what the Hulk starts with, because I'm actually kind of curious. Because I actually didn't think I'd unlock something in this run. I think I rammed enough ships. I think that's the whole idea with that thing. So this guy starts with... Now fire auto cannon. Pulsar. Okay, this is essentially what the standard ship starts with, so it's not really much of a different loadout. You have more HP in the uh, standard at all. Okay, this thing's crap. But you can right away make a mini cannon. Alright, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this game, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.